in chapter 5 season 3 we didn't just receive a bunch of brand new named locations on the island but we also got one secret location that everyone in the fortnite community has been focused on actually being this mysterious bunker at the top of a mountain players have noticed a very weird sound coming from well, the mystery about what's inside of the bunker has finally been solved as it has now been open but first if you don't hit the thumbs up button on this video in exactly 111 days whenever you log on to fortnite this will happen no! but if you do with the thumbs up button in exactly 111 days when you log on to fortnite this will be waiting for you the choice is all yours so choose carefully but ladies and gentlemen we've wasted too much time we got an absolute insane amount of stuff to cover in this video including the truth about this secret bunker let's get into it super quickly before we check out the new opened bunker first things first did you know there's actually a super secret hidden mythic weapon in chapter 5 season 3 that's right and most people only think there's a grand total of six one of them obviously being the ringmaster's boom bolt from the ringmaster scar boss another one being megalodon's nitro fist as well as megalodon's combat shotgun and then you also have the machinist that'll give you the machinist combat assault rifle upon elimination and when i said secret mythic your mind probably immediately went to both cerberus and oscar that are obviously both old bosses from previous seasons but have actually remade their return in chapter 5 season 3 upon eliminating them you'll also receive their mythic weapons but neither of these are the secret mythic i'm talking about instead something totally new and different and here we go dropping into a game so i can actually show you this now to get this mythic weapon you don't actually need to eliminate a boss or anything crazy like that and i promise if somebody didn't tell you how to get this mythic then you would never even know it's in the game the downside is it's not actually possible to get until about halfway through the actual match don't worry thanks to the magic of editing i can just go ahead and fast forward for you guys and all we're waiting for is for the absolutely massive loot island to begin spawning then you're just going to want to start making your way in that general direction and once the island spawns in you're just going to want to make your way up to the top of it immediately start capturing the capture point that spawns here now, this will take about 60 seconds to pull off boy oh boy is it ever worth it because as you can see we just received a brand new mythic weapon for our efforts actually being the conductor hand cannon pretty sure this is the first hand cannon in fortnite to actually have a holographic sight on it right here you're able to see all of the other attachments equipped to it as well as it's absolutely beastly 103 damage absolutely insane if you thought i was going to go through all of the work of getting this and not even try it out once oh there's the perfect victim try it out i missed oh my goodness another one oh my this gun is insane boys it's insane oh dude this gun is so good it's so good oh my goodness dude i gotta admit i'm an absolutely major fan of the secret hidden mythics i think this is actually one of the cooler ones in all of fortnite history don't worry coming up next we'll check out the open bunker but first ladies and gentlemen i'm sure we all remember the character dr sloan one of the main antagonists here in fortnite that literally betrayed us all in an attempt to destroy the fortnite island all the way back during the skyfire event in chapter two since then dr sloan herself has had an incredibly interesting storyline with her sometimes being a villain in chapter three season one when the imagined order invaded the island you can't forget Forget just a few seasons after that we literally saw dr sloan get deleted during one of the fortnite live events following that dr sloan ended up making a return towards the end of chapter four she came back as a good guy actually helping us the loopers save all reality known as innovator sloan she was actually the one responsible for putting together the plan to steal kato thorn's time machine using that time machine to go all the way back to fortnite chapter one keep in mind innovator sloan herself didn't go back in time meaning the entire time we were in fortnite og innovator sloan herself was still stuck in our previous reality as we all know, once Fortnite OG came to a close, an entirely brand new chapter of Fortnite began. This introduced a bunch of brand new storyline characters like Vengeance Jones and Hope. Fortnite fans have noticed that Dr. Sloan is seemingly totally missing. We've known that Hope and the other members of the Underground have been looking for her, so you're actually able to see her picture in the Underground's database. Well, now check this out. Dr. Sloan has made a return. You can see her for yourself. All you need to do is once you jump out of the battle bus, make your way towards the old Sandy Steps location. Obviously, this entire point of interest has essentially been destroyed by the Sandy Sandstorm, with the exception of this one purple building on the outskirts. As you're able to see, this entire building has essentially received a massive makeover. That's because now it's actually home to the Hope NPC, as well as the main headquarters for the underground. If you make your way up to the second floor of this building, you're actually able to see a massive spray depicting none other than Dr. Sloan. Well, I know this doesn't necessarily mean Dr. Sloan is already back and in the game. It's definitely teasing that she's still a part of the Fortnite storyline. Wait, you remember earlier when I said Dr. Sloan never actually made it back to Fortnite Chapter 1? 
spent the entire time back in that original reality. Well, now here in chapter five, a brand new female character is being teased. Being none other than the Wanderer, you're able to find depicted on the crash train. Many people in the Fortnite community think the Wanderer is actually Dr. Sloan, not just because they're both females, mainly because their storylines match up perfectly. After all, Dr. Sloan has spent the last few seasons essentially wandering through different realities. Members of the underground knew that she would make her return eventually. It looks like she's just about to, but in a brand new form known as the Wanderer. But that's what I'm messing around. It's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. Because on the very first day of chapter five, season three, even though everyone was largely focused on exploring the brand new point of interest, there's one location that caught everyone's attention. In this brand new mysterious bunker, appeared on top of the iceberg right outside a grand glacier. There's also noticed that whenever you get near this, you can actually hear somebody banging on the door. Throughout all of Chapter 5, we knew that this area was going to be incredibly important. Because when this area was first introduced into the game, an absolutely massive crashed airplane was located exactly where the bunker is now. And throughout the first few updates of Chapter 5 Season 1, the glacier began slowly melting more and more, causing the airplane to begin make its way down the glacier, until it eventually landed in the little pond directly below it. At this very same time, a brand new skin was released known as the Aegis Explorer. Obviously, this was yet another version of Geno, aka the creator of all realities, and each and every single one of his cosmetics actually referenced something very important contained inside of the ice. At first, everyone thought the person inside of this bunker was none other than this season's secret skin being Magneto, but let's be honest, that really wouldn't make any sense with the Fortnite storyline. The next theory everyone came up with was that this bunker could actually be an additional part of the new Fallout collab. So obviously, here in Fortnite, we have the T-60 power armor. It's a member of the Brotherhood of Steel, and in the Fallout video game, the Brotherhood of Steel actually resides in a bunker very, very similar to the one we see here in Fortnite. However, this theory is also false, because after all, Epic Games have been teasing the arrival of this bunker ever since Chapter 5 first release. I find it hard that Epic Games would go through all of that effort just for a Battle Pass collaboration. Don't worry, the bunker is now open and the mystery has been solved. You guys, check this out. You remember that mysterious sound that the bunker plays I showed you earlier? Inside of the Fortnite game files, the audio file is actually titled Weapon Lab, obviously implying that the area contained inside of the bunker, essentially a secret laboratory, just like the bunker we had back in Chapter 2, being the redacted bunker, where, when it finally opened, it essentially revealed this massive imagined order laboratory. In addition to that, the bunker itself is actually codenamed Hydro Bottle. Don't forget, the codenames Epic Games picks are always incredibly important. For example, when Ninja's Icon skin first leaked, that skin's codename was Torbus, the first two letters of each word actually being a reference to Ninja's real name. Tyler Blevin. Meaning the truth about the bunker likely starts with the letters H and B. I have two theories here. One could either stand for Hope's Bunker. So far, throughout every single season of Chapter 5 that's been released, Hope has continually been the most important character. There's repeatedly been referenced as the one that holds the secrets to everything. Well, here we are in replay mode, because I'm actually going to show you what's inside of this bad boy. In order to do that, we first need to do a super awesome under the map glitch. All you need to do to do this glitch is take the drone free camera and fly all the way out to the farthest point in the water, and then use your camera to go under the sea floor. For that, we just need to make our way over and navigate to exactly where the bunker is located, and we're officially able to see it right here. Now, this is without a doubt the best look at the bunker that we've had so far in Chapter 5 Season 3. We're literally able to see the backside of the vault door that has been fully textured and designed by Epic Games, which is how we know it's going to be opening sometime very, very soon. Because if they didn't plan on opening this bunker at all, there would literally be no reason to put that much detail to the inside of the door. The only thing we really know for sure is that this bunker is quite possibly the most important important thing on the entire island. For that reason, each and every single one of us must keep our eye on it over the upcoming weeks. You know what, boys? It's time to eliminate the machinists for my very first time. Hold still for me, mate. Oh my goodness. Oh, baby. Literally already almost dead, dude. This Enforcer AR is a boss destroyer. Hold still. Yes! That was so easy. Things first, we'll pick up the Machinist Medallion, as well as our Mythic Combat Assault Rifle. That thing looks awesome. Obviously, we can't forget to open up the vault and hop in our Mythic Car. Dude, this thing looks insane. Oh, we got an enemy right here. Hold still. No, what the heck? No worries, we'll get him again. Stop running, got him. Oh, another one right here, another one right here, another one right here. Yes. Oh, big gunfight this way. Time to shred him. You ready, boys? Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. All of my shield is basically gone. This is not going as planned. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you that. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me, bro? Okay, good. Now we got this guy over here. Come on. No. Got him. Oh, what do we have here? I see you, buddy. Huh. What? Oh, we got him. Not done yet, though. Not done yet. Darth Vader. Boom. And I think there's another one. Yep, right here. Yes! Oh, some of the final enemies. Some of the final enemies. Got one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm trapped by my own car. Light him up. Yes! Thanks for playing, Boat Rider. Oh, the last enemy right in front of me. Oh, I missed. I guess we're doing it the hard way. Oh my. 
Yes, that's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. A massive victory royale. When the bunker inevitably does open during this season, I'll make sure to let all of you guys know by making a tweet over my official Twitter account, at HomeAgamesYT. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have an absolutely incredible rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.